you like cooking or gardening. So we offer you creative challenges that are related to recipe development or edible gardening. You select the challenge that appeals to you and dream up your ideas. The challenge that we picked was increasing the yield of gods and uh, garnish-based edible plants. The challenge we picked was unconventional match. The challenge that we pick is actually the Transform Instant Noodle Challenge. So the challenge we all picked was uh, commercial food. I explore different things and different ways to recreate commercial food into something, into something different. Commercial food is quite common in our daily life. I want to come up with some ideas how we can implement it into a dish or transform into another kind. So I wanted to go something less produce-based and more impressionable would be perhaps edible flowers. If you were to create a dish from our team, almost all the components on the dish will be edible. For us, we are all students staying in the residential halls and um, instant noodles is actually a very staple food for us in hall. For me, it's because I feel that it resonates with me well because I like to eat instant noodle and it's very convenient to make. So I thought it'd be really cool to remake something out of that. Yeah. And also instant noodle is everywhere. You find it like in convenience store and supermarkets off the shelf. So what I want to do is to create something that is unique, different from what is out there in the market. And convenience for students, like what you said. At least for most of us, the, the reason why we picked it is because, well, it was interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it certainly offers the most options with what you can do. You can pretty much do anything you want. It's the most out of your comfort zone. The scope is very big. You're not limited to like any ingredient or any food item. So that you can be very creative with what you want to do. See, that would be an excellent question to answer if we actually had a team idea to begin with. <laughs> When we first started out, we were all just ideas left, right, centre. The scope for unconventional match can really mean anything. All of our ideas were very, very different from each other's. Another way to say it is we, we are an unconventional match. <laughs> yeah. The team idea is actually quite similar to mine. Um, mine is the instant noodle sushi idea. And um, of course, we changed a few parts of my idea. I didn't think of like mala or salted egg and everything. All those ideas actually came from Min Shen. And then mine was a duck ravioli, a duck confit ravioli. So it's actually a Italian dish where the duck confit is wrapped in the ravioli. And then uh, this actually cooperated with your idea, with the boba pearls. It became the duck confit gunkan sushi. So for my idea, I actually came out with the idea of making instant noodle bubble tea. And for Natasha, our group member, she came up with the idea of instant noodle granola. I think all our ideas were very, very different from each other's at the beginning. And then it turned out that none of our ideas made it to the end. <laughs> Personally, I never heard of microgreens before. So it's something that is new to me. Yeah, I think in general, like microgreens aren't a very popular thing locally. So I thought it would also be a good idea that you could like experiment on it and kind of find out more about it rather than like the typical herb selection and stuff. <laughs> uh, I think it's all quite eco. That's why we all have this. All our ideas were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Especially this guy. His was the worst. Yes, absolutely yeah. the worst. Yeah. It just didn't work out. <laughs> okay, but jokes aside, his was actually... The um, most the feasible most, idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think any one of our ideas was really the best because they all kind of got chucked out the window. <laughs> yeah. You're not the only one who's interested in this creative challenge. Others in your teams are also thinking about this too. So you all come together, share your ideas, you discuss and decide what to do as a team. I would say the surprising thing was how similar some of our ideas were. Yeah. <laughs> My idea was like, both their ideas combined. Then I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I was surprised by Beyond's idea. Because at first he started with bacon and dark chocolate, which was, ooh, <laughs> interesting. I, in my mind, I was like, do I want to eat that? But actually now I do. It, it turned out really well. Yeah, it's really good. 
Okay, when I saw his idea of like ravioli, I was quite surprised. I didn't think of like instant noodle as making like pasta. I was very surprised by Natasha's idea of a granola because I didn't think instant noodles could actually be something that's healthy. Mm. There are still a lot of ideas on our plate, right? See, we the thing, we like, saw many yeah. ideas. The, the, the rather strange thing was that we were kind of under the impression we weren't allowed to drop any ideas. So we didn't actually drop any of our ideas. We thought that we couldn't, so we just kept trying to make them work. That's more like we had our own individual ideas first and from those we created our team idea. Because we knew that when we had the meeting, the ideas were very different. So we tried to take individual elements of everybody's proposal, such as like the concept of layers or like you know different commercially available on like scene kind of concepts. And we tried to put it together into um, our current concept now lah. We really just came up with the idea that's most feasible, and we see of course we see the members of our team see our abilities. Like some of us may be better in the kitchen, some of us are not so good in the kitchen. Some of us are good with designing the recipe and tweaking the recipes a bit to make it similar to what we're supposed to achieve. I think the ultimate factor that we scale down to is practicality as well as manpower. We only have the three of us and then to operate a, a garden is not easy. And then um, we, only, we already have the gods in so we need to think about uh, what complements the gods well. So um, we actually tried to incorporate different parts of our individual ideas and this culminated in our final dish, which, which is the Nushi. We pick and select the good points that complement each other and we create a appetizer and an entree menu from there. Mm. Anything else to add? Clarence? 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 No, okay, no. no. Okay, okay. No, he, he, he's fine. In the next episode, we will see them start doing